optimize the G11 for beach and snow scenes, you'll have to know how to access the beach and snow scene modes. You'll need to use the program mode. You may need to set the flash and possibly the flash exposure compensation. If you use the program mode, you'll need to set the exposure compensation. And as always, you'll need to set the white balance. Let's get started with setting the snow and beach scene modes. Turn your mode dial to SCN. This stands for scene. And in the back, you can use your control dial to move between the different scene options. There's beach, and if I go a couple more, I'll get the snow. Now what this does is optimize the camera for these scene settings. However, your setting is very unique, and these settings may not be as good as possible. You may be able to get better pictures if you customize the camera yourself. To do so, simply set the camera to the program mode, turn your mode dial to P, this stands for program. Now basically what the snow and beach scene do is overcompensate the exposure just a little bit. Because snow and beach scenes are very, very bright, the camera tends to darken down the image a little bit. So what you want to do is brighten it back up. To set the exposure compensation, turn your exposure compensation dial up to one third or maybe two thirds of a stop. You won't need much more than that. You can see in the back down here that I'm now overexposing my picture by two thirds of a stop. If your subject has a shadow on it, then you may want to turn on the flash in order to eliminate some of that shadow. Press the flash icon right here, it's the right navigation button, and move over with the control dial to flash on. Remember, because the scene is so bright, auto flash won't work. The camera will assume there's enough light in the scene and it won't opt to use the flash. Depending on the distance of your subject from the camera, you may or may not need to use the flash exposure compensation. To do so is very easy. Just press the function button right here in the center and go down to the flash exposure compensation icon. Then go ahead and use the controller dial to move the orange dash across the bottom of the screen. Turn it up to plus two to overpower the flash or down in the minus range to have the flash be less powerful. If your subject is closer to you, then lower the flash power. If your subject is farther away from you, then increase the power of the flash. Your first picture you should take at zero just to see if the flash is really too strong or not strong enough. Once you have that set, you can go up to your white balance option. And because we're outdoors, you want to set this to daylight. Just move this over to daylight and then press function to escape the function menu. Now we have the white balance set to daylight. My exposure compensation is at plus two thirds and my flash is turned on in order to eliminate some of the shadows on my subject. As always, place the focusing square over your subject, press the shutter button halfway to lock focus. Once the focusing square has turned green and the focus is locked, you can then recompose the image, centering your subject. Once the image is composed the way you want it, press the shutter button the rest of the way to take the picture. Mm -hmm.